hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very exciting new tool from anaconda which is anaconda ai navigator with the help of this desktop free application you can download and run large language models locally with great ease you can call it an alternative of lm studio but i think its interface is much much better if you don't know what anaconda is anaconda is one of the leaders when it comes to open source ai for a long long time they were dealing with ai related stuff and data related stuff before ai was hip and cool so and i have covered a lot of things from anaconda especially almost in my every video whenever i'm installing some ai tool or i am installing some llm i am creating an conda environment so this new uh, platform which is uh, called as ai navigator is quite cool it offers you comprehensive model access a private local environment intuitive user interface flexible deployment and enterprise control and governance so let's first get it installed and then we will go through its features before i go there let me also introduce you to the sponsors of this video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors and as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will drop the link to their website in video's description so in order to download this anaconda's ai navigator just click on download ai navigator for free and you will see that now it is available for windows mac and soon we will have it on linux so i have logged into my Linux, uh, windows system so i'm going to install it for windows simply click on this intel or amd or whatever you are using and the size of this tool is just 98 mb or 97 mb something like that click on open file as you can see on the right hand side it has already downloaded it it is now installing by just single click let's wait for it i will let it run so that you could also see how long does it take there you go so let's uh, sign in so for that you just need to go to anaconda.com and i will drop the link in video description from there you can simply create an account or sign in so let me sign in with my own account and once you sign up or sign in to your anaconda's account for a free email of course you will be presented with this screen and the main thing is on the left hand side where you see that at the top um, at the top left there is a home button we are at the home button at the moment and then we have this uh, if you click here these are all the models which are available you can download the model in the third one and then or the downloaded model which you already have and then if you click here this is your chat interface and this is the api server which you can start and start serving the model from here now uh, go back to the home button this is just like lm studio by the way there are only three steps you first select a model you download the model and you start chatting securely that's all there is to it so for example you see there is this um, metalama 3 8 billion you can go 5 3 mini and the cool thing is it is also telling you how much ram it takes and this is a vram by the way it is also telling you the quantize level it is using for this one and you can also use from here now in, you can either just select this one or you can just click on explore curated models or click here on models so let's click on explore curated models if i just say llama and then maybe i'll just say three nothing dash three and we have this llama two uh, with 13 billion and all that stuff we go llama three we have this llama three and then it is also telling you that when it is in red it means you can't use it on this system because it don't it won't even let you download it because your system doesn't meet the requirement of it and we have this llama 3 8 billion instruct and all that stuff so let me just click on this one q4 km and by the way if you click here you can even go with the higher quantization <clears throat> but i'm just going to go with q4 km just for the purpose of uh, this demo and this is also telling you what exactly quantization means here 
so let's click here on this meta llama 3 8 billion maybe i'll just go with the instruct one because this one is a pre-trained one let's go with the instruction fine tuned one i'm just clicking on download to use the download will start you can pause or cancel it from within here and you see the experience is much better here uh, lm studio is also great don't get me wrong but this one is even better also i couldn't find any option of turning the theme to the dark it's not in the settings so if i click on setting here i don't see any option and i also don't see any option in the view or in the file menu at the top left so maybe that is something they should be adding pretty soon so let's wait for it to get downloaded and the model is almost downloaded now it is verifying the model's integrity by verifying its checksum just like we do it in olama or in the lm studio and now here is the cool thing you can start the server so that it will start serving this model on this machine and then you can access it through ip and port or you could just simply click on new chat or you could go from here and start chatting with it so if you click on new chat this is a new chat where you can start load it is also loading it automatically as on the top you can eject it or you can start chatting with it so in order to chat you can start typing your prompt like what is happiness look at the speed by the way on this machine i am using 24 gp of vram and this is my vram usage at the moment just over six a gig out of my 24 GB and that 6 gig also include my Olama because I am running Olama 2 which is live at the moment okay so now you know what is my um, VRAM is and you see how simple that is in order to run it in this um, interface let me click on these three dots you can edit it you can regenerate or you can delete it from here all good and then if I click here these are some of the settings where you can set some of the hyperparameters like what would be the temperature that determines uh, the creativity of the model it is quite low the value is between 0 and 1 closer to 1 means more creative closer to 0 means less creative and deterministic and then you can set how much uh, output should it generate in terms of context uh, and sorry uh, how much the context length would be the amount of data it can throw its spotlight on and then you can also set your response length you can even check this box to let the model decide this is where you can instruct the model to for a system prompt if required and this is quite simple at the moment now if you click on this api this is the local host you can give it your public ip you can give the port where your model uh, will be listening then specify model this is a model and then click on start once you click on start see on the uh, right hand side it is starting and then it will start serving this model on here and then you can access it through this ip and port this is how simple it is to, to make an api call and it is api compatible so you should be good you can stop serving from here and it will stop from here it, and it's all rest api so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and of course you can also search for a lot of other models if i cancel it there are already a lot of models which they have put it in their repo amazing stuff so i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching